Hello, my name is Tom Dean. I'm a lecturer here in Chagas Clan and Kilty Agricultural College. What I'm going to show you today is some work with high tenantile wire. We're going to look at termination knot. So termination knot um, is basically your end knot on your line of uh, permanent fencing, okay? Using a strainer post um, and that's going to hold the strain of the wire. So the first thing we need to do is just to decide which side we're working off of. So we're working off the left or off the right and that will form the basis of the line. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to work, um, I'm going to work off the left hand side. So you can see that this, this side here is my tie wire and that's, that's going to be used for tying whilst this will be uh, straight down the field. So the first rule is I have my tie wire and it's always over the top is the rule. Now as I'm going to bring it back and around underneath, just want to make sure that I'm keeping a stretch on this. Okay, that's how the trick to making it nice and tight. Okay, so pulling outwards, bringing it back, so always over the top on that one. Um, the next thing is I'm going to loosen it off. So give lots of slack. I'm never making bends in high tensile wire without, it just makes it a lot more difficult. Um, so I've tucked it on underneath. Now I'm just going to tighten it back up. Like that with my hands. So you can see we're coming off the left hand side. Now the next rule is we want to do 180 degrees this way, straight back up again and then back this way. And as we do it, we're just trying to put as much tension on this as possible. So we're trying to actually stretch that. As soon as we stop stretching that, um, that's when we're going to lose the, the nice tight, tight knot. Okay? So it's 180, 90 and then straight down. So there's our 180, back up straight and pulling outwards and back down again. So then you can see it's, it's coming nice and tight. So next thing is to make a crank handle. So the whole point of this handle, okay, is that we can actually stretch this wire here, okay? As soon as you put your hand there, you're in trouble. You're not gonna make the rings. So you don't worry about the rings. You just worry about stretching that. And I'm gonna apply about, probably about 15 or 20 kilos of pressure to it. So I have it there and it's parallel to my main line, which is going down the field. I'm just gonna keep it pulling outwards the whole way around and you see the way the rings make nice and tight then. Now if my handle gets too short I can always lengthen it like that and no matter how thick the wire is once I just make the handle longer you can bend pretty much anywhere. 